Center for Exchange in our city. I'll be your moderator for today's forum. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge that we are holding this event on the territory of the Coast Salish people, the Musqueam, the Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh nations, and we are grateful to be able to live, play, and work on their land. Thanks to everyone for attending, and to our only mayor and council candidates' willingness to be here during such a busy campaign season. We really appreciate it. And it's also wonderful to see such a full room of engaged citizens. This should really be a great discussion today. Today's Candidates Talk Community event is brought to you by Anhart Community Housing Society and Exchange Inner City. Anhart Community Housing Society has owned and operated rental housing in this neighborhood since 2002. It is currently developing new affordable housing in Canadian-owned towns and cities with the help of social impact investors, including a site at 138 Main Street here in Vancouver. Exchange Inner City is a community backbone organization that started two years ago and is comprised of over 50 stakeholders from the inner city. This includes local residents, business improvement associations, uh, nonprofits, social enterprises, and a few of the businesses. The organization's focus on community economic development in the Vancouver's inner city neighborhoods. Exchange Inner City's mission is to collectively cultivate an inclusive economy where all residents can prosper and live full and rewarding lives. So the format of today's event will begin with a panel style Q&A, and we have five different representatives from the community who will be asking the candidates questions, and we will be getting your thoughts and solutions to those questions. The topics include community benefit agreements, social procurement and social hiring, acknowledging the rapid retail gentrification that is happening in this neighborhood, and how you may support the informal economy such as vending, bidding, and others. Each person asking the question will provide the candidates with a bit of a background to their question as well. And then we will open up the floor to all the candidates to answer any of the five questions or all five, five of them if you wish. Each candidate will have about a minute and a half to provide their answers. Marcy up front will be keeping uh, time for all of us. As for answering the questions, um, you can either come up to the podium and use the mic or you can kind of stand up and project your voices and hopefully everyone can hear. And then following that first portion of the forum, we will ask the candidates to go around to the table and spend about five to ten minutes with community members at each table to do a breakout discussion, uh, answering questions sort of format. So people at the table will be able to uh, ask any questions that they may have, and we do have facilitators at each table that will help to moderate that conversation. Can all the facilitators please raise their hands? Wonderful. Thank you so much for your help today and for those of you who are uh, bringing up questions to ask the candidates today. <laughs> Lastly, before we begin, um, a few things to note. Washrooms are in the back right corner if you need them. Please help yourself to food and beverages throughout the event. Uh, we want to thank Potluck Cafe Society, a local social enterprise, for providing the food and Republica Coffee for the coffee for today. We also have two people pro providing Mandarin and Cantonese translation. Uh, they are Minshu, Minshu, can you your hand, please? And Wilson Liang. Uh, we want to thank you both for taking time to do this necessary translation today. All right. Are candidates ready? Perfect. Let's begin. Can we start with having David LePage uh, ask a question about community benefit agreements? My apologies. I forgot one thing. I do want to give the candidates a chance. Sorry, David. I do want to give the candidates a chance to introduce themselves. Um, so can we start with Pete Fry? Hi, folks. Uh, nice to see a lot of familiar faces in the room. My name is Pete Fry. Uh, full disclosure: I'm also on the board of uh, Exchange Inner City. Uh, that grew out of an outshoot, actually, of my time working on the downtown east side local area plan. I've lived in this neighborhood for about 30 years. Uh, through the downtown east side local area plan, we were trying to determine the future of this neighborhood and what it would look like as far as development, housing, and uh, of course, local community economic development. So it's something of great passion to me. Uh, I have a lot of intersectionality with the different contexts in the community, uh, and I'm very proud to be here. And uh, I'm running for city, oh sorry, I should mention, I'm running for city council with the Green Party. So many of you know me here that I kind of assume you all knew that, but I'm running for city council with the Green Party. My colleague Michael Weave is here in the audience as well, running with me. 
Uh, Adrian Carr, of course, who's the elected city councilor, is running again. And David Wong, who's an old uh, Strathcona boy from back in the day, uh, and he's also uh, uh, can be speaking uh, Chinatown liaison, and he's done a lot of work to help uh, help uh, work with the societies in preserving Chinatown. And we also have three fantastic school trustee candidates and three park board candidates, and I'd be happy to tell you about all of them later. Uh, but I'll see you to my friend Adrian. Hello, I'm Adrian Crook. Uh, this area is actually my backyard. A few years ago, uh, I came down here with, uh, with my five kids and we gave out socks just out front of this exact door, actually. I'm an independent city council candidate. Uh, I've co-founded a couple of nonprofits. Uh, one called Abundant Housing Vancouver. We advocate for more social housing, uh, non-market housing types like temporary modular housing, seniors housing, and another one called Abundant Transit. BC, which obviously advocates for more transit, which as we all know helps uh, renters and low in income people more than it does uh, others, uh, disproportionately helps us. So uh, yes, I'm an independent running for city council and uh, I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Good afternoon. It's uh, an honor to be here today. My name is Shauna Sylvester. And I'm running as an independent candidate for mayor of Vancouver. I realized there's also two other tables that also don't, I, when I went around and introduced myself, I want to make sure, Minshew, if you have a chance to translate, that would be great for others that are behind you. So I just realized there's so many people that don't have translation, so I want to make sure that they have it as well. Do you want to say it? Do you want to translate it all for them as well? Is that Thank you, Minshu. I really appreciate it. Uh, one of the things that I really want to do today is to learn from you in terms of what you think are the priorities. I've come out publicly with a homelessness strategy, a housing strategy, senior strategy, climate change, and a whole range of other ideas. But the ideas are only as good as the people in this city think they are. So today, for me, this is an opportunity to hear and to learn from you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Michael Weiss, running for City Council at the Green Party of Vancouver. Um, it's great to be in this room. I'm also involved right next door here with the Portside Pub, and have been working in the neighborhood for a little while. I'm also the president of the Mount Pleasant VIA in Mount Pleasant. I'm currently a park board commissioner. Um, there's a lot of organizations in this room I've worked with, Jason Math and Mission Possible, um, and the vendors program. So we need to recognize, and what I've done at Park Board is we've really changed the lens on how we're going to do safety and cleaning in this area. We started to recognize that peer workers are going to help us to ensure that people are getting jobs. We need a job program for everyone in the area. We make sure people are working to help with this security and maintenance of this, not only this area, but really this city. We also need to recognize that some of the buildings around here, like the Atira project, took nine years to build. And that cost is overwhelming, and it wouldn't have been built if they didn't lock down contracts earlier. If we want to ensure there's proper housing for everyone, there's no barrier housing in this neighborhood, we need a city that's really ensuring that we can fast track those programs work with the permitting, work with the neighborhood on what they want to make sure that we have the housing that's affordable, we have clean and safe streets for everybody. I was involved in dealing with Pigeon Park. I've been involved with all the urban stewardship plans for all the parks in this neighborhood, and we are not at the level we need to be. These parks are not where they are, where people feel welcome and feel like this is their neighborhood. So when you walk Andy Livingston and you're coming from the downtown east side, it's locked. We have big bolts that feel like it is not a park for you. We don't have space for people from the downtown east side to go and just throw a ball around. Wendy Pool Plaza was shut down for over a year to this neighborhood. That is not acceptable. We need a city council that understands that and works with the community to open up the city and make it so that your parks feel like they belong to you, your areas feel like your neighborhood, and your living room. So let's make this city a little bit better, but it's going to take everyone in this room working with us and working with your elected officials. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. 
my name is Hector Grimmer and I'm a Vancouver City Councilor and now I'm asking for your permission to be your mayor. And I'm running with a really wonderful team of leaders who are ready on day one to end the war on housing in Vancouver. We are going to say yes to all the good ideas, bringing people together, stop playing politics with this critical issue of our time and just get the job done. The reality is, is that our city has had the solutions in front of it the entire time. We just haven't had the will to do it. In the last year that I've spent at City Hall, I've seen this happen repeatedly. The talk about affordability and the desire for change and taking action is met with the action of saying no when presented with real options. What we will do is bring in a new city plan, a city plan that will work for us. We will make sure that we're planning not just around buildings, but planning around people again. The downtown east side is not only just a shame for Vancouver, it is an example of how our culture is failing in our province and in our country. And we have an, exam we have an opportunity right now to address this. We can say yes to no barrier housing for those that are living with street entrenched poverty and homelessness. We can say yes to more housing choice in all neighborhoods in the city. And we can say yes to building a Vancouver that works for us again. Or, or, we can just vote for the same old politicians, the same politics, where they tell us words, they use words like affordability and progressive, and it's just more of the same. But we say yes to you, we say yes to your future, and we're hoping that you will say yes on October 20th. Thank you so much.
worst of it. I don't ever want to see that again. I can't accept that happening to another woman again, being subjected to that type of violence. The rest of the people that live on the street are subject to our drug dealers and our drug lords. So yes, we need to find people with affordable housing, but we also need to make sure that they are safe and secure and are able to access the services that will help them to stand on their own two feet. Health services, but health services, vocational skills. I don't, I don't have all the answers. I have some ideas. My team has some ideas. We're committed to put those ideas into action, but we're also committed to work with all of you in finding better ideas and better solutions. Thank you.